गुड आफ्टरनून स्टूडेंट दिस इज द लेक्चर नंबर ट्वेंटी सेवन बिफोर गोइंग फॉर द टूडेज लेक्चर इन द लास्ट लेक्चर वी हैव स्टडीड थ्री टाइप्स ऑफ फ्लो मेजरिंग डिवाइसेस फर्स्ट इज द पिटॉट ट्यूब दैट इज स्टैटिक पिटॉट ट्यूब देन वी हैव स्टडीड द नोजल फ्लो मीटर एंड थर्ड वन वी हैव स्टडीड that is uh, turbine flow meter okay so both uh, all the three uh, instruments are used for the flow measurement the next type of uh, flow measuring device is which is known as a variable area meter uh, that is rotameter okay so this variable flow meter is used for the measurement of a flow when the fluid flows through the obstruction meter such as venturi meter uh, as we have discussed orifice meter and flow nozzle the fluid accelerates and reduction is pressure takes place means what uh, that fluid accelerates means what we know that velocity is uh, or sorry acceleration is the rate of change of uh, velocity rate of change of velocity means with time velocity increases but there is a reduction in the pressure is it so means as we have discussed in case of the venturi meter orifice meter and flow meter the uh, in the convergence section the velocity decrease uh, increases and pressure decreases in orifice plate also uh, the same thing happen as well as in case of the flow meter uh, flow nozzle also okay means uh, what is discussed here that fluid accelerates and reduction in the velocity take place so as i have told you that acceleration is the rate of change of velocity means what at uh, as as time over with respect to time the velocity increases okay so in this case the fluid accelerates means what velocity increases with reduction in the pressure okay so the pressure difference before and after the obst obstruction is measured by means of a differential pressure sensor and is related to the rate of flow okay so rate of flow is measured by using this variable area meter okay so there are different variable area meter uh, devices for the measurement of flow out of that the first one is rotameter that rotameter is a number of time asked in the university exam the summer 17 summer 15 summer 14 winter 13 summer 13 winter 18 winter 8 and summer 8 means uh, here we can observe that in every year that question has asked on the rotameter okay so it is very important uh, topic from the this uh, fourth unit so we will understood in detail okay so a rotameter is a constant pressure drop variable area flow meter means it also known as a constant pressure drop variable area flow meter or rotameter in the construction uh, just we will move toward the diagram in the construction we can observe that in first uh, transverse section of the uh, rotameter uh, that fluid flows from Uh, the arrow direct upstream and downstream okay so the where the upstream arrow is shown that portion is somewhat narrow okay and uh, it will be converge or larger at the downstream okay so uh, whatever the the small portion shown in the center of that first diagram that is annular area or a float okay so that uh, the top sir uh, top area cross sectional area of the float is a1 and the lower area that is annular area is a2 okay so as the flow of fluid increases okay so that float will rise by a certain amount and which will be represented by uh, rise equal to height h from that Uh, datum line okay so area of the tube at float level is it 
uh, and uh, on the right side diagram we can observe that there are scale calibrated scale are a mark on the glass okay transparent tapered glass metering tube which is known as transparent tapered glass metering tube and the, uh, inside that uh, tapered glass metering tube float or a bob is there okay so guide wire for the float is it so in the construction now we will uh, study in detail it consists of a tapered it consists of a tapered metering glass tube inside of which is a rotor or active element of the meter which is known as a float the tube is provided with inlet or outlet connections okay the specific gravity of the float or bob material is higher than that of the fluid to be metered means uh, whatever the fluid flowing through the pipe uh, which specific gravity is lower as compared to the float or bob material okay uh, on a part of the float spherical slot are cut which cause it to rotate slowly about the axis of the tube and keep it centered okay so that uh, uh, it will be rotated along the axis of the pipe okay owing to this spinning accumulation of any sediment on the top or side of the float is checked okay so however the stability of the float may also be ensured by using guide along which the float would slide okay so uh, when the flow of the fluid will drop then uh, or decreases the float inside the glass uh, tube also drop down because the self weight of that float will be acted or uh, along the acceleration due to gravity okay uh, in order to balance that uh, there is a uh, upward force applied by the uh, flowing fluid okay so in the working when the rate of flow increases means when the rate of flow increases the float rises in the tube and consequently there is an increase in the annular area between the float uh, of course we know that at the bottom the annular area or what we can say that the uh, whatever the area left uh, surrounding to the that float okay when that float is at bottom the annular area is less because at the bottom the cross section area of that uh, glass tube or what we can say that that rotameter is less now as the flow rate increases that uh, float will be raised in the rotameter so that the annular area will increases that that is explain here means when the rate of flow increases the float rises in the tube and consequently there is an increase in the annular area between the float and the tube okay so the float adjusts its position in relation to discharge through the passage the float adjusts its position in relation to the discharge through the passage that is the float rises higher or lower depending upon the rate of flow is it means as the flow rate decreases the float will drop down by a certain amount as the flow rate increases the float will rises into the rotameter or glass tube okay, the float rises higher or lower depending upon the rate of flow the discharge equation for the flow through a rotameter is given by q equal to cd that is uh, discharge into a into 2g vf multiplied by rho f minus rho upon af into rho okay 
bracket rest to 1 by 2 where q is volume of flow right a is the annular area between the float and tube rho suffix f density of a float material a of cross sectional area of the float cd is the coefficient of discharge uh, then v suffix f is the volume of float rho is the density of fluid flowing okay as the flow area a is a function of height of the float in the tube the flow rate scale can be engraved on the tube corresponding to the particular fluid means whatever the scale we can we are we can observe on that taper transparent glass which is calibrated with respect to the different fluid flowing through it okay so the advantages advantages of the rotameter are uh, simple in operation handling and installation relatively low cost wide variety of corrosive fluid can be handled possibility of convenient and variable flow comparison by mounting several rotameters side by side useful for measurement of a low flow rate can be used for measuring flow rate of liquid gas and vapor okay means if we are we will have to measure the flow rate of liquid gas and vapor okay then limitations of the rotameters are limited to small pipe size and capacities glass tube subjected to breakage less accurate compared to venturi and orifice meter must be mounted vertically okay so these are the limitations of the uh, rotameter that rotameter is used for the measurement of flow rate okay then next uh, uh, special flow meter device is hot wire anemometer this hot wire anemometer uh, uh, in which the rate of cooling of a wire depend upon the diameter and physical properties of a wire uh, difference of the temperature between the wire and the fluid physical properties of the fluid stream velocity under measurement okay so here depending upon the associated electric equipment hot wire may be operated in two ways constant current mode constant temperature mode in case of the constant current mode the voltage across the bridge is kept constant and constant temperature mode the temperature is maintained constant okay so on that basis that flow meter work okay so here whatever the diagram you can observe on the um, slide uh, here the the arrow showing from left to right that is flow of the um, <coughs> fluid flowing through the pipe and at the periphery of the of that uh, device the metallic prongs are there and sensing wire is there okay so that metallic prongs are inside the ceramic body and inside the ceramic body the sensing um, wires or what we can say that uh, sensing wires are embedded that wires are connected to the arm of a western beach okay and uh, when the out of these four limbs one limb is unbalanced the galvanometer is unbalanced okay in order to obtain the balance condition the uh, when the fluid flows through the pipe it will be balanced and represented by the galvanometer in terms of voltage and that voltage is nothing but the voltage is calibrated in terms of the flow of uh, fluid okay so in case of uh, the next uh, flow meter is electromagnetic flow meter okay so electromagnetic flow meter is also number of time asked in the university exam it is winter 16 winter 15 winter 14 winter 9 winter 8 and summer 8 okay so uh, we can say that alternately it will be asked in the university exam okay so that electromagnetic flow meter uh, is uh, used in case of the measurement of a flow that is corrosive acid, cement, slurries, sewage, paper pulp, detergent, sludge and any electrically conductive fluid. So for the these different conditions the metals are uh, sorry the, these electromagnetic flow meters are uh, particular suitable for flow measurement okay 
so an electromagnetic flow meter uh, de uh, meter depends for its operation on measuring electric current or voltage generated when a conducting fluid flows through an applied magnetic field okay consider the flow of a conductive liquid through a non metallic pipe located in the air gap means on that metallic pipe or on that non metallic pipe the air gap is there so in that air gap the core of an electromagnetic system is uh, fitted okay so the fluid motion relative to the field generates an inductive emf when these uh, primary windings uh, mounted on the magnet okay so that will be come in contact with that uh, core and at that time when the flow fluid is flowing through the pipe the emf is induced its magnitude depending on the strength of the magnetic field and the fluid velocity effective length of the conductor correspond to the inner diameter of the pipe and the velocity of the conductor is proportional to the mean flow velocity okay so the volume flow rate is given by e means in terms of electro um, motive force means that is in terms of voltage 40b upon pi d multiplied by 10 to power minus 8 that cap a small e is the induced voltage or emf p is the magnetic flux density and d is the pipe diameter okay so it is uh, represented in the diameter uh, diagram that pipe diameter uh, or which is known as length of the conductor okay so that is the volume of the volume of flow rate is directly proportional to the induced emf and as long as the flux density remain constant okay so uh, in 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 this case the advantages are no obstruction to flow can handle slurry uh, greasy material and liquid containing suspended matter high accuracy and reliability output is unaffected by changes in characteristics of liquids such as viscosity pressure and temperature output voltage is linearly rated to the input flow rate bidirectional flow can be measured by reversing connection which can be done manually or automatically the mass flow rate can be found by metering the density sorry by measuring the density and then multiplying the output signal from indicating of indication of mass flow rate okay. the voltage output of this meter is proportional to the average velocity and hence it does not matter whether the flow is laminar or turbulent okay so if there is no obstruction so that as if there is no obstruction so uh, exact flow rate we will get in case of the uh, in terms of the electromotive force so that uh, we can say that it is the advantage of this electromagnetic flow meter okay so that in addition to every uh, instrument there are some limitations or we can say that disadvantages the operating costs are high particularly if heavy slurry are handled okay second limitation is it is high in limited to fluid having conductivity at least of the order of 0 0.05 micron ohm per centimeter okay so these are the limitations of the uh, that electromagnetic flow meter okay so the last uh, flow measuring device that is ultrasonic flow meter uh, the working principle of the mit um, this meter is based on the apparent change in the velocity of propagation of sound wave in a fluid with change in the velocity of the fluid flow okay so the, the, the figure illustrates the basic principle of operation of the ultrasonic method wherein two transducers 
have been located in a pipeline so one transmitter and one is receiver okay so that means uh, there are two transmit uh, transducer out of that two one is a transmitter and one is receiver have been located in a pipeline this meter can measure the flow of any liquid through which sound can be transmitted okay so here uh, that direction of flow of fluid is uh, represented from left to right by arrow okay to that ultrasonic transducer and ultrasonic uh, means on both sides there are ultrasonic transducer are there means that a and b okay so it is uh, uh, nothing but the obstruction type advantages absence of a moving part negligible flow obstructions and additional resistance to flow high accuracy and excellent dynamic response linear relationship between the velocity and the output output voltage is linearly rated to the input suitable for metering both liquid and gases the output being electrical in nature the readout can be analog or digital okay so disadvantages are complex construction relatively high cost use of commercial meters is generally limited to liquid means here only in case of the ultrasonic flow meter the velocity propagation or we can say that velocity propagation of sound wave on that basis the measurement of flow is based on means what the apparent change in the velocity of propagation of sound wave in a fluid with a change in the velocity of the fluid flow okay so that is nothing but the working principle on which the ultrasonic flow meter work okay so here the measurement of a flow rate uh, means various instrument for the measurement of flow rate that we have completed from the fourth unit very first instrument we have studied that is venturi meter is it very first instrument that is venturi meter then we have studied uh, orifice plate then we have studied uh, flow nozzle then we have studied pitot tube that is static pitot tube then we have studied turbine flow meter then we have variable area meter that is rotameter then uh, hot wire anemometer then last one we have said electromagnetic flow meter and uh, the last one that is ultrasonic flow meter okay so that ultrasonic flow meter is not uh, explained in that much detail just given uh, that the working principle of the ultrasonic flow meter that is ultrasonic flow meter is work on the and on an apparent change in the velocity of propagation of sound wave in a fluid with a change in the velocity of the fluid flow okay so here we will stop and uh, in the google meet we will discuss the whatever the doubt Uh, you have and uh, in the next lecture we will start the um, force measurement okay various uh, devices for the force measurement okay